Whatever happens on Wall Street, things are finally looking up for U.S. home sales. What had been a very modest recovery in the housing market appears to have picked up some momentum. According to Zillow, a major internet real estate site, it's cheaper to buy than rent in most major markets. Personal finance journalist Vera Gibbons, a Zillow contributor, joins us with more. Vera, good, good morning. Good morning. So we've seen this uptick in the housing market. Is it still cheaper to buy than to rent? It is still cheaper to buy, about 38% cheaper versus 44% last year. So the gap is def definitely narrowing. But if you look at the share of income needed for your monthly mortgage payments, it's about 15% versus over 22% in the pre-bubble years. So affordability is alive and well. Well, let's talk about affordability because which city is it the most expensive? Who is suffering the most? <laughs> well, the California markets are somewhat unaffordable um, because, you know, home values have been rising faster than income. So if you look at San Francisco, Los Angeles, some of these hot markets there, to afford a median price home in San Francisco, it takes nearly 43% of the average resident's income. 14% wow. of homes in San Francisco are considered affordable, so a very small percentage. New York looks downright cheap on that list. Yeah, compared to California. Words I mean, that have never been uttered before. <laughs> <laughs> and they're only going to go up from there because mortgage rates are rising. Right yeah. now we're at 4%, expected to go to 5%. So affordability, as we know and love it, is going to take a hit. Mortgage rates go up by just one percentage point. Your purchasing power goes down by 11%. So if you're looking to buy, the mm -hmm. message is you want to buy sooner rather than later. Okay, and so it means so the clock is ticking. How much time do we think we have? Well, mortgage rates are going to rise apparently by you know five percent by the end of 2014. But I wouldn't necessarily wait because if you're looking to buy in a hot market like New York or one of these California markets that I've mentioned or San Francisco, where home values are rising yeah. ridiculously, so your monthly mortgage payments could be several hundred thousand, several hundred dollars more if you wait. Okay, so the coasts are crazy expensive. The coasts are What's crazy, crazy middle? expensive. Is the, is the middle the affordable part? Yes, the Midwest, the Midwest sort of dominates the affordability chart here. I mean, if you look at markets like Kansas City, Dallas, St. Louis, some of those markets, you know, a very small percentage of your income is going to your housing costs there. So what does the rental market look like in terms of oh. affordability? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one because, you know, home values may be going down, but rents continue to go up. Well, so if yeah. you're looking to rent nationally, about 30% of your income is going to your rental cost. Now, pre-bubble years, that number was 25%. But nationwide, you've got about half of all renters spending more than 30% on their rent. Again, particularly in those hot markets, back to the California markets, but also New York, Miami. You've got jobs, you've got culture, you've got communities. This is where everybody wants to be, and unfortunately, the rents are ridiculously high. So yeah. it's a good time to be a landlord in these markets, but not necessarily a tenant. I had a feeling it was a good thing that Home Depot had strong numbers this quarter. <laughs> Very given. Thank you so much. Thank you.